everyone. Welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for gold for Thursday, August 1st, 2013. Well, a fairly large black body candle. Uh, the black body denotes the sellers making a decent amount of net bearish progress on the day between the open and the close, and it suggests that the sellers are finding some solid downside momentum, which is in contrast to what we've seen for the previous five or six trading days. Uh, for the previous few trading days, we've seen very little in net terms uh, from the buyers and sellers, and today a change of sentiment in the market, and this may suggest that the market uh, may have found some uh, downside momentum to test below the 1300 round number level of support. If we look at this current candle as it's uh, still trading, uh, the market is uh, testing down to that level, so it will be crucial to watch how the market develops around that area, but it is very, very solid support, and uh, there will need to be some solid bearishness in this market for it to trade down below that level. For the current candle that has finished trading, with the black body we also had the market closing down towards the low suggesting that the sellers have taken control of this market and they've closed just down below the 1309 level so it's been some time since we've seen the market trading down around that level and for the past couple of weeks we've seen the market testing to that level and being strongly rejected from there so there may have been a change of sentiment in this market and a swing back to the sellers whereas there was a lot of indecision in this market now the market tested up to the 1329 level and was rejected from there so that holds as very strong resistance in this short term time frame. But once again we, we've got a market that's bound by very solid resistance overhead around the 1329 level and now extending up to around the, uh, the cloud just above that level but also bounded by the solid support down below at 1300 so a test down around here is very very important if we see strong early bearish activity below 1300 we could quickly see the market testing down to around the 1266 level in terms of the uh, Fibonacci extension and we've seen the market uh, close in a bearish manner just below the 78.6% level price action was uh, rejected from uh, below the 61.8% the 50% prior to that we had not closed below the 50% now we're closing down below the 78.6 and the 100% will be crucial to this market moving forward that is just at the 1300 round number level of support so obviously very strong support around there and today we're seeing the market testing down to there and being rejected from there so um, any possibility of a change of trend will be very very crucial to how the uh, market trades uh, around that number and just below in terms of the Fibonacci retracement, uh, we've seen the market test to the 100% level again uh, and close just at that level, so bearish test down to there as opposed to the previous day's trading where we saw strong uh, price rejection from there. At the moment the market is trading down below there, uh, let's wait and see how the market develops our next target if the trend does continue down is down around the 1288 region. In terms of pattern, and uh, here we uh, have this highlighted pattern uh, that we've looked at for the past few days. It was some sort of a small symmetrical triangle pennant, then morphed into some sort of a wedge, a large wedge, or a, a flag type pattern. And uh, here we see the market respecting the lower boundary at the moment. So what we're looking for is a close either down below that bottom barrier or above that top barrier. If we do see uh, strong bearish activity, as I've mentioned, down below that bottom barrier, which is now around the 1300 level roughly, then uh, we could see the market uh, uh, testing down to the target which would be the width of the uh, pattern projected down from the breakout which would give us a target roughly down around the 1270 level. In terms of Ichimoku for this candle that's finalised trading we are still trading just down below the cloud so a bearish market technically in the long term time frame but we're trading that close to the cloud that the market is pretty much neutral. In terms of the Kijun Sen, still trading up above the Kijun Sen and uh, that's quite important. We have a bullish market in the medium term time frame but that Kijun Sen is pointing flat and we are seeing price action being attracted back towards there so it wouldn't surprise to see this market test lower so once again 1300 is important. But looking at the Tenkan Sen, an important change in uh, in uh, how the market's been reacting to the Tenkan Sen today. We have now had a bearish close below the Tenkan Sen giving us a bearish market in that short 
short term time frame and previously the Tenkan Sen has acted as support for this market and it's been some time since we have been trading down below that Tenkan Sen so the sellers may be building some momentum for an assault on the 1300 level so once again 1300 is crucial to this market if we do see strong early bearish activity down below 1300 we could quickly test down to 1266 but we have a market that's bound by strong support around that 1300 level but very solid resistance around 1329 extending up roughly to about the 1338 level.